Hey guys, what's up? Misha here, and I'm going to be showing you how I go about dialing in a clean tone on the Axe Effects. Now, just so that you are on the same version, we are once again version Quantum 3.03. Uh, that is the latest version that is out now. Now, if you happen to watch the video where I showed you how I dial in my lead tone, you'll see that this is kind of a similar setup because that was a very good starting point for that. Either way, I will run through this signal chain so that you see what's going on. Now, for the amp model, I've chosen the Sir Badger 30 because it's a nice, warm, clean amp. Uh, you can get a bit of a driven sound out of it, but I'm running the drive a little bit lower because of that. I'm also using the compressor to sort of uh, bring the input level down as well as compress it. Um, let's listen to just the amp and cab setup. As you can see, it's mostly all set around noon. I have the master volume up to fatten up the sound a little bit. And I'm using the Zilla full cab from the Fractal Zilla cab pack. This is how it sounds on the bridge pickup. So that's really warm. It is driving a little bit, uh, as I mentioned earlier. But what you can do is you can uh, use the compressor to back down on the level. And uh, I just have a little bit of sustain. I have the look ahead up on this one as well. And it sounds like this. So compression is a really essential part of a good clean tone, in my opinion. I have compressors on the rhythm tone and on the lead tone, but the clean tone is where I'd say it's the most essential part of the sound. Now, I want this to work well across all pickups, so I'm going to dial it in to be fat, but not too fat, and I'll just have to adjust that as I go along. This, These are the settings that I have, but you'll hear. See, if I'd gone too bright on that initial setting, if I bring that up, you can get a bit too chimey. So, you know, this is something that you'll have to play around with based off your guitar and the sound that you want. Back to the bridge. Middle. Split outer coils. Beautiful. And the neck pickup, which sounds very, very fat. So those are good settings to start with. And then... Once again, to create some ambience, we have delay and reverb in parallel. Once again, you want to make sure that mute effects is, uh, or that the, the bypass mode is muting it, basically. One of these mute settings. Um, this will stop it from summing the signal several times over and making it way too loud. So, uh, again, the stereo bucket br brigade delay is, is great. <laughs> subtle but it does add a bit of motion and it makes this the sound very wide one thing that you could play around with a little bit um, if you like a, a bit of a chorusing effect you can actually achieve that with a delay and it'll do it kind of subtly so on the axe effects you can just adjust the depth maybe the rate as well but that's basically modulating just the delays. So it's leaving your signal as a clean one, but you can even hear, you can hear the pitch modulating there on the repeats only. And that's a subtle way to add some chorusing. So I think that's very pretty. Next, we'll add the reverb in. And again, we have Rich Hall. Checking down all positions. I think that's great. The only thing I will add to this is that it's quite easy to get nice and spacey from here. Really all you have to do is just increase the size and the time. I mean we can go to absurd lengths, but really like 10 seconds is a lot. 
then you can bring up the level of the reverb. Bring up the level of the delay and add feedback. If you do some volume swells with that, you are in space now. Anyways, I hope that's been useful. Um, hope you learned a thing or two about dialing in tones on the Axe Effects. Thanks for watching, guys.